hello munchies welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel please click the red subscribe button if you're returning thank you so 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 much for coming back you know i love and appreciate you so much so i am doing the head wrap video today and i did a few styles for you guys i hope that you guys will find this video helpful you guys did ask for it and i said say no more okay <laughs> so if you guys enjoy this video please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and if you're not subscribed did i say that please subscribe please do like please do don't be that girl you know or guy <laughs> please subscribe if you haven't already comment down below and tell me which is your favorite style this is one of the styles that i um did on the video uh, it's actually one of the basic styles but it has such a big effect because it has this nice dramatic effect and you want to be a little extra you know <laughs> so i hope that you guys will enjoy this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe love you guys so much enjoy so the first thing you want to do when you're tying a head wrap is make sure that both sides of the head wrap are equal. So you put the head wrap on your head, then you measure the two sides and make sure that they're equal. It will make your life so much better when you start tying. So with this particular style, I made sure that both my sides are equal and I started twisting the two sides together to create a long twisted knot, which I'm going to create a bun with at the top of my head, right? Another tip is to make sure that you fix as you go. So don't wait for the end for you to start fixing everything all at once. It's going to overwhelm you. Just fix as you go. As you can see there, I'm fixing as I'm going so that I don't have a whole lot of problems to solve right at the end. And voila, easy, simple, on the go style. Totally, totally love this one. So with the second style, just like the first, you're going to start by making sure that the two sides are equal. I'm going to be preaching this throughout the video because it really does make everything a lot easier for you, right? So with this particular style, the two sides go to the back. So we'll be chatting about how to tackle the back as well. So if you're wearing a duke like mine, a head wrap like mine, which has two different materials in the inside and the outside, make sure that you work it out and cover the inside and make sure that the inside is not showing and only one type is showing right and then you are going to take the two sides and cross them right you are going to crisscross them put one over the other not one on top of the other so i don't know if that makes sense but as you can see it has created a cross in the front and it's not directly on top of each other so with the back guys don't obsess over the back we don't have eyes at the back there's nothing we can do so what you're going to do is just run your fingers through the back and make sure that however much you can feel you try to fix and as we said we fix as we go and voila The next look is another favorite of mine so with this look as usual we start by making sure that the two sides are equal and we are going to create that long twisted knot once again and we are going to create a bun this time at the back of our head so this particular look uses two head wraps so don't be too obsessed about how this one looks like you're going to cover it with another head wrap I then reach for my next head wrap which is basically the star of the show <laughs> and same thing make sure that the two sides are equal and also guys don't forget to fix as you go so that you're not overwhelmed at the end and you don't have to fix a whole lot of things at once right at the end right that's what the back looks like and you're going to cross the two sides um, into opposite directions and then you start with the twisting again you're creating that long twisted knot You then take the two knots and you put them over the band that you've created in the inside. It's going to create a beautiful shape. Just do that very slowly. Take your time with it. If you need to do it again and again, give it a try until you get it right. But it is very simple. It's a lot easier than it looks. And it looks beautiful. Like I said, this is one of my favorite styles, one of my go-to styles. And as you can see, I'm fixing as I go. Then grab the other side, do the same thing. Tuck it in wherever you find space. You know, with tucking in, just, just, find, just find space. And then just tuck in wherever feels comfortable. And then again, fix with your fingers. No eyes at the back. We just fix as we go and i think i'm happy with how it came out i love 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 this look Next 
the next look is another basic simple look but also very cute so with this one we started at the back make sure that both sides are equal and then you're gonna take the two sides and take them to opposite directions and from here we are just going to be fixing and fixing and fixing as we go right so this is quite a long head wrap so as you can see i wrapped it twice and i am fixing as i wrap and just make sure that you are taking the two sides to opposite directions and they're creating that crossing effect so that you can have that beautiful shape at the back once again we just fix as best as we can and we continue to fix as we go This next style also uses two head wraps. The first one is the one that you'll be rolling around your hand like that and you'll place it on top of your head so that it helps create the volume you're looking for in this particular style. Okay, please don't do that after placing it on your head. <laughs> You will then grab your second head wrap and start covering up the head wrap that's inside. The goal with this style is to make sure that you cover the head wrap that is inside and just by doing that, you will see a new shape developing. That is all you have to do. Just from that, you'll see a new shape starting to form and that is how you'll be getting or achieving the style of this look. Don't forget to fix as you go, ladies. Find a comfortable place to tuck in. That comfortable place also has to be neat. As you can see, this side, I found a very nice place to tuck in. It also came out very neatly. But on the other side, I sort of struggled and I found that it wasn't very neat. So I checked it out and I went ahead and I found another comfortable but still very neat place. Make sure that everything is fully covered and if you have achieved that, then you have achieved this look. It's a very beautiful look. You can rock it with your traditional clothes. I like rocking it with my African kind of vibes. And just like that, hello African mama. This look is more of your playful kind of looks. So you're gonna start it by creating that long twisted knot and create that band that we created right at the very beginning at the top of your head. But with this particular look, you're gonna need a head wrap or rather a scarf. This is actually a shawl. You're gonna need something that has tassels like this one um, because the tassels are what create the look and what makes it different from that other one that we did earlier on in the video. So you are obviously going to try and fix as much as you can as you go and you leave the tassels out. You let the tassels, a few of the tassels hang out so that they can create that look that we're going for and make sure that they need, don't just throw them on your face just like that. Hello, ma'am. This next look is another easy to do, but it has a little bit of drama. So when you feel a little extra, go for this one, right? So you make sure that both your sides are equal and then you're going to cross the two sides over each other, but you're going to leave the other side hanging. So you're gonna tuck in the one side, fix it up, and leave the one side hanging so that you have that little bit of extraness in this look. And just like that, we are done with this look. Totally love it, simple, easy to do, but a little dramatic, a little extra. <laughs> And finally, for our last look, we are going to make sure that both sides are equal. And then we're going to do the famous twisted knot. But before that, we're going to cross the two sides. Yes, just like that. At the back, we cross them and then we start creating that twisted knot on both sides. So this is basically a twisted knot look because those twisted knots are going to go over each other. But right at the top of your head, you'll see what I mean just now. So there's your first knot. You twist it all the way to the bottom as you go and then you go to the back, 
tag it in as best as you can don't stress about the back guys you'll get someone to fix you wherever you're going because what are you supposed to do with no eyes at the back <laughs> and then you take the second one and you also just run it just below the first one don't create space between them and just like that that is the look totally love it another simple and easy one i hope that you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up comment down below tell me which one is your favorite style and i will see you guys in the next one Mwah.